Hello, welcome back to Small Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones, blind. This time we're doing chapter 10, Turning Traitor. This is uh, chapter 10, Ephiram, of course. Let's jump into it. Here we are. Okay, we, there was no casualties last time, so we won't have to worry about that. I wonder if innies and all that appears in this route, or if that's um, exclusive to Erica. I don't know. Let's jump into it. Okay, here we are. A former land structure to Ephiram, Grotto's General Dussel, often came to Renes as an emissary of his empire. Okay, despite the stations, the two men share similar dispositions and a warm relationship. Why has Grotto started this war? What is the miasma of evil emanating from the country? Ephraim believes that Dussel can answer these questions. Okay. It is this belief that propels Ephraim forward into Grotto territory. Indeed. Okay. Let's jump into it. Turning traitor. I wonder who's gonna... Ooh, is someone else gonna dip on us and be like, Oh, actually, I'm gonna fight you back, like... Right. Please voice Prince Ephraim, I have a message from Prelia. There's been an uprising in Cartina. Pablo is leading a force of renegade Grotto supporters in rebellion. In Cartina. Any word of Erica? Is my sister safe? The last word we received had Princess uh, Erica heading to assist Prince I Innes. We've not heard from her since. That's really interesting. It's really reflecting. It's kind of cool that we're both, you know, doing both paths at the same time. Blast. I sent Erica to Rawson, thinking it would be the safest mission. If I could, I'd pull out of here now and go look for her, but... Prince Ephiram, I know, I know, I mustn't let my emotions dictate my actions. If Cartuno has allied itself with Grotto, then defeating Grotto is our best bet. We proceed as planned, tell them that. Understood. Be careful, Erica. Okay. Earthquake? Alright. Sure. What? Was that an earthquake? I think it's past. Prince Ephiram, I'm fine, there's nothing to worry about. A surprise, that's all, you're not shaking in the slightest, are you? Actually, it surprised me as well. I'd heard that tremors such as those were com commonplace in Grotto. Apparently, they are usually weak and cause little, if any, damage. Now you mention it, I remember a while back when I was first in Grotto. Eric and I were startled by a tremor just like that one. Leon said he had grown used to them, and he just laughed. Hmm. We don't have any time to tend to injuries just now. We must press forward, we must see to the capital. To the capital, okay. Who are you? I do not understand why this course of action, what is the Emperor thinking? I don't know, Dussel. Is that you, Selina? You to be assisting me in this duty? Yes. Relia's army will be coming for us uh, soon from the north. We're just waiting for the order to engage them. To Fire Emblem engage them. Hmm, Prince Ephraim leads the enemy forces, doesn't he? That is correct. Prince Ephraim of Renes. Bah. Renes is our enemy. General, please give the order to attack. No order all units to hold. Do not initiate the attack. I want to speak with Ephraim first. Hmm, that's true. You plan to betray the Empire and ally yourself with the enemy. What? Do not do so, you stand accused of treason of the highest order. Lay down your weapons and follow my commands. If you fail to do so, if you resist in any way, I will execute you on the spot. This is nonsense. Who is behind this madness? These are his majesty's orders. The Emperor has antici anticipated your treachery. Prepare yourself. That's Ike's thing, but okay. Impossible. His majesty. Oh, they're green units. Is he gonna join us? Cormac, you and I will bring that traitor down. Go around that fort to the southeast and drive into them from the sea. We're fighting General Dussel, but he's one of the cornerstones of the Empire. How could... He's been like a father to you and to my brother, and you truly mean to kill him. Mm. That is what my Emperor commands, and yes, without hesitation. Cormag, if you're a true knight of Grotto, you will do the same. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Here we are. Here we all are. Prince Ephiram, the Imperial Grotto army is before us. I don't know, but something's odd. They're chasing someone down. Is that a deserter? Wait, that's Dussel. Prince Ephraim, your orders. We rescue Dussel. Ride. Okay. Well, time for the randomizer. One second. Alright, we're um, leaving behind five uh, characters. So let's take a look. Mulder. Okay. Mulder, Franz. Ooh. Arthur. Arthur, Franz, Mulder, Seth, and uh, Ford. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Mulder, Seth, Ford... Arthur and Franz. Okay, so we can get Colm, Tanner, and Natasha. Is that it? I think that's it, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a little rough. Um, now, in the other path, we did increase Arthur uh, when we promoted him. However, this time we have a loot. Loot crate here, of course. So, what I might do... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec, but I might give the uh, Guiding Ring to her in this path. Just because she's at level 8 as well, so she's just as um, close to leveling up uh, to level 10. Oh, okay. So I was mistaken. I thought you could go to the item shop on this screen. It doesn't look like... Oh, maybe you can in this screen? I don't know. Oh, wait, maybe you can. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Yes, we can. Alright. I needed a fire. That was the big thing. Alright. 
Alright, thank you, thank you, kind sir. Um, okay. Well, we are stuck with two Pegasus Knights. In fact, I am almost tempted to kill one of them off so that, you know, we only get one slot, but obviously I'm not going to do that as I'm uh, sure I will get dislike bombed if I did that. Um, let's jump in. Okay. Alright, just jumping right into the... Okay. Oh, it's this heroic music again. There's a village up top. Dusel, and he has a diamond there. Oh, it's a survive map. I'm gonna double check if I can recruit anyone in this. One second. Alright, so we can actually recruit Dusel. I did absolutely not expect that. We need to talk to him with Aphiram. And then there's another guy called Cormag somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, okay, you. You're a Wyvern rider, okay. And we need to talk to him with Dusel. Uh, it's a bit of a hectic map. Uh, map. I feel like we're gonna lose a couple people, especially without Seth. Mm, what do I do here? I guess we'll get Kyle up. Ford isn't with us, obviously. I mean, these soldiers aren't gonna be too bad here. Wait, what is this ship? There's a ship? There's a ship in this game? It's a ballista, but it's a ship. That is bizarre. Did not expect to see that in the slightest. In fact, Fire Emblem on water using ships would be a very interesting concept that I did not think about until just now. I suppose I'll just get everyone up front and then... I guess Gilliam? That's the only... Yeah, you're the only person I can really think of. Then I'll just get Ephiram up top. Still Lancia. Yeah. Um, because he might be able to beat them in retaliation. If he gets hurt, we can just heal up. Do we need Natasha and Vanessa to... to fly drop someone off. We could fly drop Ephiram. After we clear this up, I might go across this way and then to talk to Dusel maybe? The only, the, one, the only thing I can really think of. Kyle can come up here. Calm's not gonna really do much, although he, he is getting a few kills these days. Yeah, his strength is rough. He's, he's definitely no Chad by any means, but yeah, he's something, I guess. Alright, well, Tana... I could fly to the thing. I mean, yeah, there's that, but I could fly to the... to the village. Or something, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. This seems like it's gonna be a rough map. Ah, uh, Jesus, okay. What's this? They've only just become what a disappointment. I so wanted to witness the comedy of two generals hacking away at each other. Volta, what do you want? Ask Lena here to return to the capital immediately. Dusel is no longer your concern. His Majesty has declared you untrustworthy. I've been sent to retrieve your command. Relieve your command. What? You've proven yourself incapable of dealing with a single old man. I tell you, having to clean up your mess makes things difficult for me, Selena. Now then, burn. Yes, sir. I'm leaving. Can't leave poor Erica sad and lonely in Karcha, you know? You're in command here for the duration of this conflict. I'll take care of things. What do you think you're doing? I'm here at His Majesty's bidding and... Did you not hear me? His Majesty's bidding has changed. You, Selena, not to be trusted. These are His Majesty's words. You share the same sentiments as Dusel. You could turn traitor just as he has. You'd feel honored. He could have ordered me to kill you where you stand. Th that's absurd. His Majesty, he, he knows I am trustworthy. We return to the capital and sort it out. Go, uh, go and ask your beloved master whether I speak the truth. I... What are you going to do, Selina? I'll return to the capital. I know better than to trust your word. I'll speak with the Emperor myself. Yeah, you're definitely going to be recruitable at some point, I can already tell. Yeah, stupid wound. If Grado wins too easily, there'll be no more bloodshed. We must do what we can to extend the fun. I believe it's time for me to return to my darling Erica. It wouldn't do for Glenn to arrive before me, would it? Take care of things here before I return to you, understood? Of course. Okay. Nomad Trooper. Hmm. Not particularly happy about that, especially with the fact that this is a rescue. Well, not a rescue, but a survive map. Which means he's gonna start moving around. It's not a seize map. In the slightest. Could be rough. I'm not gonna lie, this could be rather rough. Um. But. That's okay. Let's get everyone going on here with the still ones. Alright. Cool. Bang. That's what you'd like to see. 11 skill? Okay. Not amazing, but uh, I'm, I'm sure Ephraim's gonna grow into something crazy, as most of the lords do, you know, but I do feel special potential with it. There's so many enemies. Oh, Jesus. This is not a fun map in any regard. Are they gonna- they're not gonna move. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Um, alright, well, I think Gilly Boy here is definitely the, the best choice to make. To uh, get into the uh, the front lines, you could say. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't think of the right word just there, but that's okay. 
You're not doubling. Kyle's actually not that good. You know, I've started to realize that. He's really not that good. I suppose I'll um, give the killer lance over to Gilliam then. Oh god, that 47 hit. Of course it did. Okay, but hey, it's a level up, so I'll take it. Uh, nice. Cool. Uh, uh sure. Okay. Now. <laughs> what do I do here? This is rough. I... The fact that we don't have Seth and Franz either. I mean, I know Ephiram can do stuff. Oh, you don't actually have a javelin. Maybe... Do you have one? Maybe in the supply this one? Y yes, actually, weirdly enough. Okay. And it doesn't actually finish him off. Hey, I guess it kind of works. Um, sure. Alright, Gilly boy, you go up there. You can... Well, they got swords, so I kind of do want to switch over to a lance, if possible. I'll do 24 to him. Yeah. Yeah, this is rough. It's it's rough because of the village as well as the two recruitments that we need to do. I mean, we don't necessarily have to, but, you know, you know how it is. I'd rather recruit anyone who, who we can, you know. Um, that's kind of how things work in this game. I can't go to the village. Hold on. I couldn't go to the village and then Kanto out, right? I don't know how Kanto works. <laughs> Can I do that? Can I go here and then visit and then come back? If I could, I would do it. Hey, I was saying, I was saying that I'm more than happy for one peg to die. Is now the time, though? <laughs> Is now the time to try it out? Yeah, because if she can't counter, she's getting not only hit by the archers, but also these guys as well. I'll at least kill the archer off, and then I'll go in, I think, is kind of the best thing to do. I feel like I've seen a follow Kanto up into the village, and if you're up here, like, but, um, brigands and stuff can't attack you. So surely you can counter. I'm waging Tana's life here. This is a really dumb idea, because if this is a guiding ring or something, and then she dies... Yeah, you know what, maybe I won't do that. Not for Tana, I do not give a shit, two shits about Tana, but I'm solely talking about if there is a really good item there and we just lose it because she dies. Oh, they got a support already, good good stuff. Alright, Luke, great, you got that, and Amy, you come up here, and then I guess Com can go next to you. Oh, the support's already there, oh, fantastic, okay, good stuff. Um, I want to increase Natasha's rank to C by this uh, map, because then she can finally use Restore. Um... So, I guess we'll put you there. Alright, so, um, quick cut here. Uh, this has been basically 24 hours later, compared to the previous parts of this episode, I mean. Uh, I suddenly had to do something, so... <laughs> I kind of don't remember what I was trying to do, but, uh, I guess... I was saying that we'll get rid of the archer and then Tana can do a bit of a dive bomb and get that item, maybe? I, I'm guessing. And yeah, we need to scout, uh, recruit this guy, Dusel. And then also recruit the Wyvern. This is going to be a hectic map. I'm not even looking forward to it, but yeah, we'll see. Tell me, brother, what should I do? Uh, not attack us, please. Um, but okay. So you're going for... Okay, so Kyle's fine. Kyle's fine. Again, I have no idea how long the previous segment of this episode was. So if this episode is weirdly timed, too short, too long, then I do apologize. Again, like I said, this is a full 24 hours com um, after the previous segment that I recorded. Anyways, Gilliam, uh, absolute tank of a unit, uh, doing crazy stuff as per usual, good stuff, okay, cool. He could probably get rid of most of these fodder, to be honest, um, I feel. So, uh, if he doubles at least, okay, he doesn't double. He, he has been doubling quite a few units recently, so I did think maybe he had it in, but uh, if not, that's fine. Again, it's a little scary that we don't have um, Seth with us, of course. That's definitely the big part that makes me very worried, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll see what we can do, of course. Yeah, yeah that's right, Ephiram did have the javelin, because I did use it at the end uh, of that previous turn. So, it broke, that's okay. I didn't realize it was that brittle, um, but that's okay. Are the green units going to do anything? They're not going to do anything, okay. Well, we have to rush down rather quickly. So I can talk with Ephiram uh, to do so here. Of course, he's a green unit, he's not going to attack us, which is fantastic. 
What should I do? I do need to get rid of some of the fodder here. Um, okay, can Naomi maybe pull? Okay, so... She can actually finish this guy off, for, for instance, but you can finish... Yeah, you go for, the, for this guy. For now. Okay, I didn't know we were playing Binding Blade. Alright, um, sure. Uh, let's see then. Well, um... Yeah, that changes things quite, quite, quite a lot so, to be honest. Quite a lot so indeed. I probably should have uh, gone for this guy, um, now that I'm thinking about it. Unless you have a javelin. You know, you do not. Do we have a javelin in convoy? Maybe, maybe we do. We do not. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <sighs> Here's the thing, I do want to get loot in there, I just don't know how I'm going to get her in there. Um, well, if I attack Gil uh, this guy with Gilliam, mm, yeah, one of our units needs to attack uh, or get rid of one of these, and then everyone will be able to stop moving. Again, it's very unfortunate the um, the party that we got given this time around. Yeah, you're not finishing, are you? If you can finish this guy, off, which you can, even if you miss once, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. I think. Might have not been the greatest idea, but, um, in retrospective, but hey, that's just an explanation of my channel. I, I think, you know, I've made that joke uh, time and time again, and, I, and I'm very clear about that, but... Um, why did... Oh, no, sorry, I was about to ask a very dumb question. Um, forget I was... Yeah, well, I was gonna say, why does the Lance Reaver do so much? And I'm like, yeah, it's because Ephraim is wielding lances, of course. Um... For some reason, I thought lances meant horses for a sec, which, yeah, no, I, I, I don't get it either. Um, in retrospect, I probably made the wrong choice here, I just realized. Um, yeah, I, I very much did. Unless you can hand axe this- nope. Um, you might be able to iron axe. You're not gonna finish him, though, so that doesn't really help at all. Um, well, this is a disaster, isn't it? Um, yeah, and you can't one-shot him either, so that's... Fucking great. Um, it's a Lance Reaver, so Axes are stronger, right? But Garcia is just not good, unfortunately. I guess I could put Ross here and then boost him up, maybe. But yeah, even then, that's not enough. Twelve crit. Cause like, if he doesn't finish him off, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, I mean, obviously I can move Kyle away, but then that's a waste of a turn, right? And then use loot there. So wait, what is the best choice of action here? I think, if anything, maybe looting... I like how that's just an adjective. Uh, but using loot on him might be the best idea. Yeah, let's go for it. Alright, go for it, loot crate. Give him pain. Good stuff. Okay, cool. We need to level you up two more times, hopefully, by this chapter. That's kind of my, uh, my best wishes, you know, as you, as you say. Now, you're not going to finish him off. Very unfortunately. Can you finish- no, but you are doubling, but... You are doubling, but you're not finishing him off. Hmm... Well, that path is open now, so I can go around this way as well, you know, keeping in mind. But even then... Okay, so you are doubling only with the rag and leaf. Oh no, actually, you're doubling with the iron lance with this guy. Could get rid of the archer. Yeah, sure. I guess. Um... Again, it was just unfortunate, the dice roll, when we got two flyers and, and two healers, that's... That's usually the worst combination I, I noticed, so... Now... I can Iron Sword him and then finish the job off with Garcia. Uh, similarly, I can actually go for this guy as well. Oh, he's only got two left. He only has two left, huh? Okay. Well, I think it's it's fine to get Tanner over here then. Visit. Let's take a look. The of the ocean is often blanketed in a thick fog, is it now? I toyed under it myself for many hard years when I was still sailing. We always made sure we had torches in the re like ready. Oh yes, and there's this. The torch stuff shines just as bright as any normal torch. Of course, if nobody knows how to use it, it's just extra baggage. Will you take it? Oh, go ahead. Planning on resting my old bones here for good. My sailing days are done. Is that so? Well, we got a torch stuff. Cool. Um... Oh yeah, I can always... I could've just countered back. Um, I guess because I didn't realize that's kind of the reason why I didn't do it, but... Uh, well... Interesting how they're giving us a torch stuff, unless this is gonna start becoming a fog map. Absolutely could be. I suppose we could. 
I've already moved Ross, that's the issue. Um, fuck it, make yourself useful, Garcia, for once. Okay. At least that hit. Um, so that's fantastic, but, you know. Uh, okay. Does anyone need healing? I guess I could top up Kyle. Actually, no, I only have one healer this time. Uh, I guess, yeah, Calm is also sort of an assist character rather than an attack-based one, so... That's sort of an issue as well, right? But I'm gonna insult this guy. I feel like... Oh, loot's gonna be in danger, isn't she? I could take drop her with Vanessa. That's probably for the best. Um... That's probably for the best. No, not you. Not you. Unless you can... You might be able to take her, actually. Yes, you can. Okay. Well, that should be fine. Com's got high enough dodging to... Even if he does get doubled, yeah, it's fine. Could have been risky, though. If, if there was two 13s, he would have died. But, uh, Com's just too good, so... Good stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, not... Not good. Not good at all, but that's fine. Okay, now we've got a lot of red units coming this way. 2% crit rate, that could have been bad. Um, well, I mean, Garcia has come close to death time and time again, so it's nothing new, but, you know, still. Okay, green units. Okay, at least they're somewhat competent, so that's good. The sa Oh, I forgot about the sailboats! <sighs> okay, I don't like this. I don't like this mechanic. Okay, they're fighting back. I don't think they're going to move, but I think they fight if, you know, if they're there. Uh, not you again, Commander Cormac. I know what I must do. I'm a sworn knight of Grada and I have a duty to fulfill. Let's start by putting an end to the Frelian army. Move it. Oh, fuck. Well, um, that just made things infinitely harder, didn't it? Now, luckily, actually, there's Cavaliers. Nothing's lucky about this. I mean, I can get Ephiram down there for now, but, you know, even then. Unless you can kill Lancis. No. See, Kyle just doesn't double. His, his speed just isn't good. Um, I think, like, Ford is just so much better, unfortunately, and that's kind of the reason why I'm... Yeah... I'm just gonna have to go for this, I think. Thank you! Yep, okay. It's exactly what I needed right now, thank you so much, Kyle. Okay, you know what? I, I take those words back. Maybe you're gonna gain speed here, maybe everything's gonna be fine. Never mind, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, um, Tana, you've basically done your job. Oh, actually, no, you can get the, um... Are these, like, what, archers? Or they are ballistic? How? Oh, I guess if you get a flyer and kill them off, then I guess you could, but... Well, I suppose I have to recruit Cormag in that case, because, uh... Yeah, these, these, uh, these girls aren't allowed weapons. Um, it's a little too dangerous for them, actually, so... <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, uh... Well, actually, no, Ross can't reach, so I guess maybe... You only have a 50% chance to hit, but you know what, go... Uh, okay. I kind of thought that, I kind of thought that, but that's okay. Now, uh, what am I doing here? What do I want to do is the question. Of course I can take drop with the Tana, which is good. Um, yeah, you're getting doubled, obviously, so I guess it's time for Gilliam, but... Unless, actually, you know what, first I'm going to take drop loot crate back here. You can move out the way. Let's see, so how much is Colm doing in this case? He's doing five. So you can't actually beat him, obviously. Um, I would just silver lance him. Yeah, I think that's the best best thing to do here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough one. From what I can already tell, I'm already racking my brain about what I should be doing here. But uh, also doesn't help that I'm blind to this map. Uh, no, it, it makes things fun. I, I'm more than happy for that. All right, I'm gonna drop you. Well, I don't want to go too far away. Because again, these, this ballista's here. Although... Oh, the village is... Well, I could canto out. I could canto out with Vanessa or something. Alright, can I heal someone up? I suppose I'll... Yeah, okay, calm's fine. Get that level up. She might be in ballista zone, which could be bad, but... Okay, alright, that soldier's gone. Cool, fantastic. Uh, I wonder if we save the green units, we might get an item at the end or something? I have no idea. Um... And that's right, we need Dusil to talk to Cormac. Which is not going to be fun. Um, but, okay. Ah, oh, shit, they're already moving. Um, yeah, this ain't great. This is really not great. Um, not to mention that uh, Ephiram can't really move that much. 
You got doubled by a ballista? That is pathetic, Ross. What? Okay. I don't think I've ever seen anyone getting... Oh, hey, that was... Don't don't stand on the village. It... Ugh, what are you doing? Oh, hey, at least you cleared a path up for everyone, but... Still, this is a, a nightmare of a, a, a map that I don't really want to keep playing. But, well, complaining is not going to do much. Oh, shit, they're already here. Well, I can get Dusel next turn, so this might not be as bad as I thought. But still. Um... The pirates have weapon advantage, which is... <laughs> Not something I ever thought I was uh, I was ever gonna say. You need to heal up and you need to get out of the danger zone, yeah. Ross is too baby. Four speed, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, I completely forgot. Uh, I'm gonna stick to kill Lance, even though I know it's a waste, but... If the next guy attacks him as well, I would much rather have kill Lance equipped. Uh, although, yeah, I think eventually that could go over to Ephraim as well. Oh! I got a comment from good old Roa just then. Uh, shout out to you, Roa. Uh, what did you even comment on? I don't even know. Uh, probably a Fire Emblem video. Thanks for the support, as per usual. You're probably watching this as well. Oh, you commented on uh, episode 10b of Fire Emblem the Volume Blade. Thank you. Now, what am I doing here? Um, yeah, I guess, but... Actually, yeah, you're the only one that's gonna be... He can take one hit, at least. If I feel really risky, I could have equip Ragon Life. It it has 42 use, so just use whatever. Um, so I'm not too fussed about that too much. Okay, now Ross, you're probably not going to do too much. Although I could bring you down, but if I did bring you down, I think, right? Actually, there might be one safety zone. Yeah, there's like one safety zone that I can, or like two or three. Is this a safety zone? Okay, good. Um... Yeah, I'll staff up Ross. He's probably gonna- like, I wouldn't be surprised if Ross dies in this playthrough. This is not an attack against Roa. I know I killed off Joshua and, uh, Amelia by accident. But, you gotta understand, his stats are really bad, so... You know how it is. Anywho, I guess, um... Well, I can put one more unit here without getting hit back. Naomi can't reach. I suppose you could rescue take or something. Both of those. And drop them off next turn. It's kind of the only thing I can really think of. I mean, that could have really been in the archer's danger zone just then, so that was a bit risky. But all right, I'll put calm here. This could be a disaster. Um, Kyle could die, um, but he does have a kill lance. I believe in him. This could be good uh, XP for him actually. So I might just speed up some stuff. Please get speed, mate. I I need you to start doubling, I really do. But, uh, okay. Hey, you keep pulling crits, though. I, I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I what I needed you to do, so... That's fantastic. The other one's coming here as well. Okay, can you pull another crit? No, you can't, but that's okay. Alright. You're going for the green unit. Oh yeah, I do remember that um, red units do tend to prioritize green units. I don't know why, but that is the thing I have noticed uh, throughout my time is playing, obviously. Shit. Okay. Now. Bit of an issue. Um, I have to get rid of this red unit here so then Ephraim can talk. Thank you. Alright, that's that's exactly what I need to do, so thank- Oh shit, okay. Well, first of all, I should probably talk. I'll talk to Dusel. Dusel! Is that you, Prince Ephiram? Why were those grotto men after you? What's going on? We can talk later, let's get you to safety first. Come with us, Dusel. <sighs> Dusel! I'm General Dusel, the Obsidian of the Imperial Three. This name of my service to His Majesty has been my life's blood. At this moment, it's all gone. I have no reason to continue. Dusel, enough of this rubbish. You're my mentor. I'll not let you, not let you die, really. Right, Prince Ephiram. I know about the Emperor's madness. How will, your, how will your death serve Grotto? Who will it help? What of your country, its people, its future? Mm -hmm. You will live, Dusel, as a traitor in disgrace. I know that for a man such as you, this is more agonizing than death. Yeah. You will live nonetheless, you will live for something more important. Mm. I understand. This old fool's life is yours. Okay. Why does he have a little diamond on him? I don't know. I guess it's technically a boss or something. It is a great knight, which I have never used in my life. So that's a new, new class. 17 strength, 17 defense. He seems like a really good Seth replacement, actually. The more of characters that we get like these in our party, the better, so... Silver, Axe, Steel, Lance, and an A and everything, that's pretty insane. Well... Fuck. Uh, he can't reach Cormag. 
Um. Well, if I put him up there, I think he's gonna end up killing himself. Oh, this guy, right? Yeah, he's danger zone so much as well. What do I? Hmm. What do I do here? What do I do here? Cause I think, yeah, I think Doosel's definitely gonna finish him off. I could sacrifice one of the Pegasi, but if I do that, um, then someone else might attack them instead of, uh, Cormac here. So, I was gonna do a bit of a Tana suicide bomb just then, but... But... I don't think that's something I want happening. You are doubling. You are doubling, huh? Do you have a throwing weapon I can test out on? No, I, I can't even test it out on Cormag right now. Well... I mean... Do we really need you? Yeah, I kinda do want you. Well, if you die, you die. There's nothing else I can really do about this, so... I'll just do this. If you're dumb enough to attack Gilliam, or something like that, and you end up dying, well... That's not my problem, mate. That's not my problem. So, okay, Silver Lansbrook. Okay. Let's see how much Kyle is- or how much is- Okay, he's only doing 10. He actually might not die. Which is good, because then I can get rid of some of these fodders. Uh, fodder units. Fodder wyverns. I'll go for the bottom one. Okay, nice. 8 is quite hefty, but it is only a 37% hit rate. You can't finish him off. I expect you to pull a crit, but okay. Well, that uh, certainly changes things. Um, not to mention this boat has gone down one... Yeah, this is not good. Probably losing a unit. Um, yeah. Because you're doubling. Speed is five. <laughs> and you're doubling Ross. That's so... God, that is tragic. Um, well, what I can do... Take drop backwards. Garcia can tank one here, I think. Maybe. And then Vanessa can rescue Ross and go up here. Oh, wait, there's reinforcements. I forgot. I think we're fine for this turn. Still. Is Vanessa in danger? Oh, she is in danger zone. Whoops. Well, she might die. Um. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty brutal map. That's all I can say. Com Com can dodge. Com can dodge. I will. I believe in him. Uh, I should have put him here actually, so he would be in uh, the zones of Nami as well. But what can you do? Uh, I know that. Yeah. If I if I drop back this way, then it'll be fine. For now. For now, indeed. <sighs> I don't like this map. I don't like this map one bit. I guess. Oh, you're in the danger zone as well. This this is a, a tra travesty. I guess I'll get Doosel up here. Can you buy a javelin? Or something? Yes, you can. You can buy a hand axe and a javelin. Hold on. We might be onto something. I can buy those, and then I can... I can't attack after buying! I didn't realize! I suppose I'll just have to wait. This is gonna be the most disastrous turn ever. Oh, you ran away. Okay. You mean zero? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't care right now. This isn't important at the moment. Death is what's important. Oh my god, there's so many reinforcements. Okay. Kill a Okay. Sorry, Vanessa. Well, hey, you're a pet. What happens if you're carrying someone over water? They don't die as well, do they? Oh, they get jumped over there. Okay, interesting. Is Tana dead? No. Interesting. Okay. I think that was actually Cormag. Cormag? Is that her name? Is it? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I can't be losing Natasha. Can't be losing Natasha. Okay. God, this map is brutal. Um... Not in, like, a Binding Blade way, though. I do somewhat enjoy this one, because there isn't crazy reinforcements or anything, but... Still. It's, it is a survive map, which is never fun. What do I do with the situation here? I don't like these stupid art... Yeah, these ship soldier things. They're so dumb. Um... One more, though. Tana... Mmm... I kinda do want Tana here. Wait, is that- That's Cormag. Well, I fucked myself. Um... 
I've pretty much fucked this entire map, but there's nothing I can do about this. I am going to tr mm. Why is your range so big though? Like, what- What am I supposed to do here? Well, I can leave the pirate up to the green units here. Actually, no, everyone can't even do much else here, so... Might as well, right? Yeah, okay. Alright. I mean, I'm- look, I'm not too fussed about the whole Vanessa situation, like, I don't really care, but... Yeah, this is- this is- this is... This is tough. Okay, at least Dusa can get rid of one of the Wyverns, which is fantastic. It's just- why- why did there have to be these? You know, like, cause... Exactly, that's what I thought, you're one-shotting characters like this. Are you one-shotting- you're not one-shotting loot, but she's probably dead if I keep her up there just by herself. <sighs> which is just, like, what am I- You are doubling and killing Wyverns, which is actually insane. Um... Actually, speaking of, we should use, uh... Yeah. If we have a bone- Ah, uh, but there's so many enemies here as well, like... What is this map? What am I even meant to do here? Well... Do we really need Cormag? I- I feel like he's just gonna end up killing one of our units. Well, first of all, I'll get- I'll- I'll, I'll at least try. I'll get Doosel up this way. Doosel? Dussel? I don't know. Um, you need your- we need your animations on. We'll get you up there. To be fair, even if we do lose someone, we got Doosel now, so... Did we really lose much? Well, I'd be pretty- um, it'd be pretty tragic if we lose, uh, loot, though. That is one thing I will say. No, not you. Uh, just do so. Yeah. Now... That's the thing. I can't step back enough. We need to block off the way with two characters here, and even then there's a Wyvern Rider here, so... I guess my best bet is actually to just... Run back here, and even if we do get hit with one Ballista, I think most of our units are okay. Apart from Ross, obviously. Ross could die here. I mean, I, I could probably counter him with Tana, and she'll probably die. Which is probably more favored. Uh, favored? More favored, yeah. Um, even if Kyle comes up here, it's really... N nothing really changes. I suppose I'll finish this guy off with Gilliam, because he can't really reach anyone else. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, sure. So we can do that. And then, Kyle, you come up here. And let's see. Well, I could do that, but... Colm's pretty much dodging everything, I think. Um, how much are you... Okay, you're not actually finishing off Cormag here. <sighs> That's the thing. Do I want Cormag, or do, should I kill him off? That's... It, it's always the infinite Fire Emblem question, isn't it? It's like, is this unit worth the time? Um, or worth the risk that I'm about to lose a bunch of units? These Cavaliers just, just aren't helping one bit. Um, because like, like I said, we can actually... We could actually finish off Cormag, um... With both Loot and, and Naomi here. I could also s try and... Mm, if I get Gus here up here... He is gonna get advantage with Axe, but... Same, do they have support? They do have support. I could do that. I could indeed do that, just for the b the tiny bit of boost, but... <sighs> what do I do here? I don't know. I wasn't expecting reinforcements from behind me, that's a bit... It's a bit shitty, isn't it? Well, okay. If, the, if these two die here, then so be it. That's all I can say. I, you know... Not much- they, they really haven't been providing much, um help at all so far, so... If I get Ross, oh, uh, you're still in the danger zone. I was saying he's still gonna be in, um... support range. Actually, that might mean his speed or dodge might go up, so even if he does get targeted by the Ballista, he might be okay. Maybe? I can also f uh, I can't finish him off. I cannot finish him off, indeed. Um... Yeah. Unless you crit, somehow, miraculously. Okay, Ross might die. Sorry, Roa. Um, yeah, I mean, in, in a way, you really can't blame me, because I, I, there isn't much I can do here. I could use Tanner as a wall as well, if I wanted to save loot or someone. <sighs> Shit, I, I, I want Natasha as well. Mm, what am I meant to do here? 
think Cormac might have to go here. Kyle can't actually reach. I can actually rescue with Kyle though. If I get you down here, rescue and then Kanto down, that could be an option. Same thing with Natasha. Of course. Um. Hold on. Hold on, I have an idea. No, I don't. Because uh, it's all. Fucking flyers, that's the thing. That's the reason why I dislike flyers. It's because the amount of move they get. I think I have to finish. I, I actually think I have to finish him off. You know, like. What else am I meant to do here? Because. Hold on, can I even finish him off? Let me just check. 12 and 15. So I can't even finish him off even if I wanted to. That's great. That's fantastic, isn't it? I. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I seriously have no idea what to do here. Like, I am, I've never been this stuck before. But rescuing with Kyle could be a good idea. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in my repertoire, keep that in my mind. I can also obviously rescue at least one unit with Tana here. If I wanted to. Um, I could actually lure out the Ballista, kill off Tana, and then 100% uh, guarantee save someone. And if I block off... Oh, you can go around that way. See what I'm saying? It's always the wyverns that provide problems. Ross might die. I hate to say it, but he, he, he genuinely might. Because just because this map's just... <sighs> okay, well... I mean, the other thing is I could also start attacking these guys. How much is Luke getting hit back by? Eight. 58, though. 58, though, to be fair. But... Even then... Even then, I'm not too f uh... Well, I guess... I could technically... I could finish one of these guys off. And then rescue with Tana and then fly upwards or something. I guess? It's the only thing I can think of. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... Racking my brain at every possibility and I cannot think of anything. Um, at all. This, this map is brutal. Um, not in like an Arcadia way, but you know, it's still brutal. Shit, that's okay. If Tana dies... Actually, if Tana dies, I'd rather her be over this side. Hold on. Um, I have to plan this right so that the Cavaliers are... We just don't have enough wall, that's the issue, and not to mention Cormag's being a bit of a dickhead here, so... You know. Doesn't help that Tana can't really move that much. I... I guess... I guess... I guess... I should have gone for Cor- uh, I should have gone for Cormag. Well, there's no point in hitting him now, right? Because y I'm not going to finish him off. And if we can live one more turn, I can talk to him. So there's literally no point in even hitting him anymore. I'm, I'm actually at a loss of options. For the time being, I'm going to get Tana down here. I suppose I'll heal up Dusel. It might be the end of her, her as well. I don't know who Cormag's going to try and go for. At least now I can come down this way. But even then, yeah, see, it's just... Oh, I hate how they have seven move. And walls don't affect them. Like, it's... it's. I understand why, but it's it's just so OP. What do I do? What what do I do? Amy, come down here, I, I guess. I guess. I, I'd rather her be safe, I suppose. <sighs> do your worst, I guess. You, you run off? Okay. Yeah, 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 no one cares. No one actually cares about that. Everyone's curious about this. Tana dies, I don't care, whatever. Yeah, 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 who cares. Now. Now. Okay, I feel like Garcia can actually dodge quite a lot of these, because he has a weapon advantage at least. What is Cormac? Thoughts are... You legend, Natasha. You legend. Okay. You know what, I'll take that. I'll take that. We lost two Pegasus. Loot! Okay, good, 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 good. He's out of Ballista. He can fuck off now. Good. Ross... Is Ross getting doubled? Even if he's getting doubled, it's fine. It's fine, even if he gets doubled. Yeah, it's fine. He had one health left. What a champion. He champ He soldiered on. He might not still... Oh, he might still be in danger. We'll see. I'm happy that he's getting speed, at least. That is fantastic. Okay, that's only a troubadour. So that's fine. That's okay. Oh, we have left throat. Okay, good, good, good. In exchange for two Pegasus uh, characters, which I'm honestly not too fussed about. I am more than happy, because what that means is, yeah, okay, sure, we can't really do any rescue drop strategies anymore, which is a bit annoying, but what that uh, 
essentially means is um, that frees up slots, so we can get randomized character. If, if all the weak fodder get killed off in this run, in this particular run, then all the characters that I really want to use are going to start getting selected more, which is great. So, first of all, let me talk to Cormag so he doesn't start doing anything crazy. Natasha, you absolute legend. I guess she has uh, 8 speed, 8 luck, but I'm sure she would have died um, one-shotted um, if she got it hit. So, Natasha's just a champion. Um, absolutely soldiered on with that one. Uh, did I? I took a look at the armory, didn't I? I don't... well, we can buy it, we can do it later, I think. For the time being, I'll get FRM up here. Shouldn't have done that. I could have, uh, actually dropped... Uh, or take dropped, I think. Um, I can finish this guy off. What do I want to do here? Um, I think Colm might, Colm might be able to take drop him. Uh, take drop her, rather. Um, loot, of course. Yeah, we got the kill lands going on. Okay. That, that, um, turn actually went a lot better than I expected. Uh, I, if I'm going to be honest with you, it, it, it very much did. Uh, minimal loss. I mean, sure, we lost two Pegasi, but other than that, it really wasn't too bad, so... The time being, I'm going to heal up. Well, I would like to heal- well, I could heal up Ross, actually. Yeah, I might do that. Okay. I'm being a little too hard on the boy. He survived that one. Uh, you know what? He's a- he's a G. I'll give it to him. Um, can he get a kill, though? Probably not, but... Well... No. Uh, no. But, uh, he was close. I'll, I'll give it to him. He, he was indeed close. Wait, hold on. Loot's up here. Who are you carrying again? Are oh, you carrying Naomi? I see. That makes sense. Okay, well, in that case, I do think Com would be able to take, drop, and rescue. Uh, for the time being, let's talk with, um, to Cormag, with Doozle. Is that you, Cormag? So, Doozle, you have abandoned your country and your lord. I must take your life. I know, I'm ready now. I have no duty anymore, but you, Cormag, you're a soldier of the Empire. Follow your orders and fulfill your mission. I'm ready. Hmm. Cormag, to be honest, I'm confused. Must you truly die? Is your crime really des deserving of death? I know my brother could have settled this, but I've come here to stop you, and yet I find that I cannot. Hmm. You see, I couldn't believe you would ever truly turn traitor, and now I stand here looking at you, Doosle, the Imperial Three, and you do not have the eyes of a traitor. Hmm. Now I cannot turn my lance on you, the Empire's faithful son, General Doosle. Until this matter is sorted, you travel under my protection. Cormag, forgive me. Okay. And you can actually start moving back. Um, I'll, I'll keep you up here, just to be on the safe side. Uh, right, yeah, let's take a look at Cormag. Uh, 14 strength and speed, 12 defense. It was, uh, yeah, we can actually promote it, well, we need one more level. But he does have a kill lance, which is good. Uh, surprised he didn't use a kill lance on us, so that was, uh, you know, lucky for us, I guess. I'll just have a heavy spear this guy. Uh, there's no more weapons from what I understand. Oh, actually, no, I think there's one more. Uh, but I think it's injured, so shouldn't be too bad. I'll block off this bridge. Yeah, you can fight back, but you got one HP anyways, so that's fine. I could just get calm here, but... Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Um... The only- yeah, the only person that can even hit Kyle is, um... Or Kurt, what is your name? Kyle, yeah, yeah. Um, is, uh... This Cavalli here, of course. What are you dropping? Are you dropping a horse, though? If we... okay, there's not really a point of killing him off. I mean, we might, we'll see. Uh, however, I did notice that this guy had a secret book, which I want to steal, so which I want to defeat and, and get. So I might actually get Cormac flying over there and defeating him uh, at a later time, after th uh, the coast is being cleared a little bit. For the time being, um, I think... Well, there's four enemies. I feel like we might be able to get rid of all of them, maybe. It might be wishful thinking, but... Um, Ionax is all you got, right? Yeah, I kind of thought so. I'll go for this guy then. Okay, cool. Um, now, I, mm, if I did do the support, then I can actually increase their attack stat. Which could be the best thing, the best uh, choice of action here. What I'll do, for the time being, I'm going to support uh, Ross. What is it, Dad? Ow, ow, what are you doing? That hurts, you're crushing my shoulder, Ross. What's wrong, Dad? I'm glad to be sentimental for a mo I'm going to be sentimental for a moment. Bear with me, huh? You may be almost scoring, but you're all I've got in this world. It's true that your skills have improved, but don't act foolishly, huh? There's no greater tragedy than when a parent must bury his child. Do you see where I'm going with this? 
Yes, I understand. She's weird to hear you talk like this. I guess I've been getting a big head. No one is invincible. Yes, that's alright. When you start to think you are, that's when you're the most vulnerable. I was just all puffed up when you said I'd improved. I'll be careful from now on. Until this interim, but I guess dads can see these things. No matter how old you get, you'll always be my son. Yes, and I'll always look... Yeah, actually, yes. I don't... Okay, I guess that's meant to be emotional, but yeah, no matter how old he is, he's always his son. Yeah, that's kind of strange. I always look up to you. Okay. Hey, that was sweet. Are they maxed out now? I think they are, yeah. And they both have fire, so that increases their attack and crit rate and stuff. Which will be handy, uh, for sure. So, what I can do here is I can finish off one of them. Um, actually, hold on. Well, uh, level 10, level 10, right? I think the, the EXP that they give out is the exact same. So I might just get Cormag here, uh, before I do that. Uh, options, solo... Where is he? There he is. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at his, uh, color palette, because uh, I'm very interested. Let's take a look. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Very dragon-like. Kind of in, like, a realistic sense, you know? Sort of grayish-green sort of color. Yeah, it's nice. Not much else to really add, to be honest. But, okay, cool. And then, uh, Luke can come back one step and then finish this guy off. And she is 100%ing everything, without support. Loot is going, like, insanely hard recently. Um, I mean, so is Arthur, obviously. Hopefully we can get one more level up with her within this chapter, so I can promote her and even get, uh, get even crazier stats. Of course, fire broke, it's fine, we've got another one. That's cool. Now, can you... Okay, you can't actually reach... You can't reach the loot, Ross could be in danger here. He does have the A rank support now, so he might be able to dodge this. We'll see, we'll see. I suppose I get calm up here. What's the worst that can happen? Well, a lot, actually. You're going for Garcia? Okay, this is fine then, I think. Yep, and we got 17% crit right now. Cool, okay. You go, Garcia. Good stuff. Let's take a look at your level up. Why not? Let's see. Okay, level 7. 10 strength, okay. Uh, I would like... Well, actually, your speed's not too bad, but I, would, I wouldn't mind a little bit more speed, personally. But I suppose you're an axe fighter, so you're not going to get crazy amounts of speed. But uh, anyways, here we go. Use that uh, Gilliam here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have to think of another support partner for a Molder, of, co uh, of course, but... Good level up. Alright, let's take a look. In in insane. Pure insanity. I think that's the max that you can level up with as well. Um, so yeah. Alright, um, how many more turns have we got? We've got to be quick. Okay. So, I'm gonna try and get the secret book, so I'm just gonna chase after this boat and finish him off. Now, how much is the loot doing? Loot is uh, one-shotting. Okay. I might not be able to promote her this chapter. Judging by the fact that there's only one more uh, turn, depending on how much she gets. Ooh, I thought so, I thought so. She's not gonna be- oh, actually, yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, anima rank increase is always good, but... She may not be able to- Yeah, she's not gonna be able to promote this turn, that's fine. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with this guy, because it's not really a huge point. Um, of course, I might... Uh, like a take drop behind uh, for the time being, and then heavy spear this guy, I guess. Bang. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. I guess I could get Kyle blocking off the other end. Uh. Yeah. No, he can't attack. I'll have Kill Lance equipped. How much is Afri Ram doing? He's getting hit back by uh by two. I might. I'm definitely gonna give him a Kill Lance at one point. Um. Actually. While it's our last turn or whatever, yeah, here we go. That's what I wanted. I might get a shine as well for Arthur. Yep. And I might get a mend. I do like this very charming uh, little remix of the, the store theme. It's very nice. Okay, um, now. Suppose I'll increase... I need it. I need to... Mmm, this guy's blocking off the village, I just realized. You motherfucker. Um, okay. I could probably rescue one of them, maybe? But we might be too late, because again, it's only, you know, one more turn, so... Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Depends what they'll do. I might speed through this, because, uh... It's not really anything too crazy, as you know. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Ship's coming down that way, okay. Can you please move? You're not gonna move, okay. Well, for the time being, I do want the secret book, so... Let me... Oh my god, your hit rate's not good. Please? Oh, you... You! Oh, Cormac, what are you doing? 
79 and you can't even hit it. Like, what do you, what do you want me to do? Like, also I just realized I had to rescue two of them. So, uh, yeah, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. This is a fucking disaster of a map. Um, can, no, Luke can't even get another kill. Uh, yeah, well, hey, there isn't anything else I can really do in this regard, so. Suppose we'll just get EXP, yeah. Um, you know, you know the like. Get Doosil down here, finishing off some dude, I guess. Still lands this guy, I guess, yeah. Oh, that is an amazing color palette, hello. I, I wasn't meant to, sp I wasn't trying to speed through that, by the way. Well, I mean, I accidentally did, but I completely forgot we hadn't seen his palette, but that is amazing. He looks like an evil villain of sorts, you know. Uh, if we actually... Uh, well, no, actually, no, then we'll have to get... Well, we could get FRM here, I guess. Then you can finish this guy off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've already seen that. Okay. Last turn, I doubt you're gonna move. I hope. Um... Yeah, and we can't get that village, and we can't get that secret book, so... Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just gonna end turn. I think I've, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Okay. Could have been bad. But actually, it still could be bad, actually. Depending on the crit rate. Good, good. Okay. You go in there. The first second I thought that could have been bad, but it was a zero damage, so that's fine. And then you're gonna, yeah, do that as well. Look at that color palette. That's like a bionicle. He, homie just looks like a dark bionicle, you know? Again, that dude just, you know, the green units um, absolutely blocked me off with that, but... God, they've held on for too long. If this continues, General Volta will have me... Prepare a ship. We must flee quickly. But General Volta, he'll be so angry. We're doomed either way. General Volta will never forgive our failure here. If we stay, we'll be dev devoured like those other fools. The best bet is to give up and escape with our lives. Commander Baron, wait. Okay, I guess we, uh, we live through that. Prince Ephraim, the remaining enemy troops have fled. I see him. What if Dusel is the unharmed? Yes, this way. Okay. Into the little thing. Prince Ephiram, you've grown to be quite the impressive commander. I re remember what a stubborn young lad you were when I first taught you. Any skill I have, I owe you to you, Dusel. I'm curious, why are you being pursued by your own troops? Hmm. Speak to me, Dusel. I want to put an end to this war. I'm sure you feel the same way. Hmm. As you know, the Emperor was once a man of compassion. He loathed war, and he worked to build peace across all the nations. Then one day, that all changed. Hmm. But why? Why did he change? What happened? I wish I knew. But if you're looking for a likely cause, I have one. This, is all, uh, this all seems to have begun when Prince Leon and the mages created a strange gemstone they referred to as the Dark Stone. The Dark Stone. That's what the clerics and the prince called it, at any rate. Now I'm just a soldier, I don't know anything about these magic things. But they said the Dark Stone is more powerful even than the Sacred Stones. And the Sacred Stones have the power to defeat the Demon King. If the Dark Stone is stronger than they are, I love how Mia is just like Pikachu. She's just like next to Ephiram's shoulder, like <laughs> just watching with her giant eyes. Ephiram, what is it, Mia? Uh, the the wave of evil I felt surging from the capital. It hungers. It consumes. It envelops. It transforms. Oh god, you have sick bars though. This power can tarnish the purest of souls with its corruption. He's saying the Dark Stone is responsible for the change in Vigard. The timing fits, doesn't it? The stone is created, and then... Do so, where is the Dark Stone now? It's in the capital with Prince Leon. He's been carrying it with him ever since the day it was created. Understood. Do so, I'm going to the capital. I must talk to Leon. Maybe we can restore the Emperor together. I'm going with you. But we'll be fighting Grado's army, your own men. I appreciate your concern, but I've already been branded a traitor. Prince Ephraim, if you mean to save my lord, the Emperor, if you hope to restore him to his former self, then I'll pledge my loyalty to you until your cause is won. Okay. General Dussel, may I, men, I owe each of you an apology. You've served me well, and I have betrayed you. You speak nonsense, General. We are your men, no matter what happens. If you must leave Grado to fight with friendliest men, then our place is not your, uh, at your side. Your road is our road. My brave friend, Sniff. I'm getting old. I'm a sentimental old fool. You asked to be allowed to join the Frelian army. Prince Ephraim has many soldiers. He doesn't need us with him. Please, send us older soldiers off to fight with Fre Frelia. May the gods of war smell upon you, General Dussel. Oh my god, okay. Thank god we saved them, uh, in that case. I'll send that back to inventory. Okay, cool. Prince Ephraim, we must now take to the seas. The Frelian army is readying a ship for us now. We have some time to rest until it's ready to set sail. Right, we'll take a break then. Tell the men. The road ahead is bound to be a rough one. Okay. Oh, it's La Rachel, right? Well, hello there. I, okay, I love your bright neon green hair. Her head is tiny, is that just me? 
Or is her neck really long? I can't tell. Tell me, are you all waiting to board a ship? Also, she has the same clothes as Loot Crate does. Just different colours, so I wonder if that's what's in uh, fashion right now. Yes, we are. I recommend that you ban your plans, my friends. The locals are too frightened to set sail upon these seas. Is there a storm coming in? No, no, storm demons. Some sort of phantom ship commands these she's, uh, seas now. A phantom ship. Yes, but you needn't worry for long, my friends. I plan on purging the seas on that pesky ghost ship. Oh no, here we go again. It's Team Rocket once again. Gwaha, what's that Princess Larachal? I, Larachal, am destined to become the protector of the seas. Fare thee well, strangers. Come, Dulce, we must find a ship. Gwaha, sounds fun. Come on, Renak. Honestly, Larachal, do you even think before you set these plans? Oh, please, someone end my misery. What's all that about? <laughs> God, they're goofy. Um, okay. Prince Ephraim, our ship has arrived. Let us prepare to board. Something troubling you? No, it's nothing. Right, here we go. Okay, here we go indeed. Well, for the time being, uh, next time... Oh yeah, keep in mind, um, the tag lock um, has technically finished on my end at least. Um, so next Wednesday will be another Sacred Stones episode. We'll be doing the uh, Chapter 11 Erica, I think, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, it's the top the top save file, Creeping Darkness. So I hope to see you all there with that one. This was a fun one. Uh, is, well, it was a bit of a difficult one, but we got through it, so that's good. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys next time with Sacred Stones. Hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.